So I'm recording this after I've watched this show. You ever been punched somewhere? It hurts so bad. And then you thought to yourself, nothing could be worse than this. Um, yeah. This is. This is worse than that. I would rather be punched in the dick by Muhammad Ali at his peak than watch this again. And now I'm not talking a love tap. I'm talking 12 rounds in the ring, his hand, my nutsack. Okay? That's how bad that's, that, that, that's how bad this is. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Let's find out what it is. Well, I already know. You'll find out. Hopefully you can stick it out and see how much I hated this horse shit. This right here is William McKenzie. He is just transferred here and you have been selected to show him around. What? Why me? Because you're standing closest to the door. What is that, a briefcase? It's a messenger bag. Oh, is it delivering the message my mom dressed me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a miniature grown-up but full size. <laughs> so that's, that's Neil. The long-haired guy is Neil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> yep. This is gonna be a great show. <laughs> Stop it. Why do I have to show him around? Because William suffered from bullying issues at his last school. What? No, I, uh, I didn't. Uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Sorry, but it is, and I wasn't, so. It was your face, I bet. You know, you do have one of those faces that just makes people wanna. Boom. What? Nothing. Wow. Welcome to Grove High. Get the car! Now, the. The deputy head in the UK version was way funnier, but also you had this kind of, this guy could be a serial killer mentality to him. I forget his name, which is fucking stupid because I'm talking about the UK in between us. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue, but Mr. Something <laughs> narrowed it right down. Um, Mr. Gilbert. So Mr. Gilbert, he... He, he was evil, okay? He hated children, and you could tell. This guy just looks like a drunk. He just doesn't seem to have anything about him other than he may be hungover right now. That's it. There was, there was, there was no comic time in there. It was just crap. Now, don't get us wrong. The guy who's playing the the that person, the the American Mister Gilbert, um. He's a good actor. I've seen him in other things, and I do enjoy him in the things he's in, especially um, the Will Ferrell movie with Mark Wahlberg. The other guys, he's good in that. You get in there and you have sex with my wife! Funny. This. No. N no. Fuck me, what have I done? And try to put a fee on that. Oh, I think these are my sister's pants. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but you have a rhinestone butterfly on the back. Look, Neil was an idiot. He was. But... He wasn't that stupid. Like, he forgot his pants in for Jim. But those weren't the pants he was wearing that day. He just lit, he didn't leave the house without pants or in different pants. He just forgot his pants, his shorts or whatever you want to call them. This guy is just a plain, stupid, idiot moron who probably doesn't know how to get to school. That's not funny. N Neil was naive. He wasn't that thick. Now, that was just so poorly done. Now, the original, they set it up, okay, with the frisbee. They set it up. They threw the frisbee. You got a shot of the disabled girl and our carer, our sister. So, you got the drama. You're like, oh, my God, no. This, you got a shot of the frisbee, and then it just hits the guy. Like, there's... Where's the comic timing? I mean, surely. I mean, it's... It's got bits of every episode that I've seen of the first season of The In Us. Didn't they watch it and think, well, they, that was funny, so let's try and replicate that a bit better than what we have? Because, I mean, that was literal trash. I'm telling you guys, I spent the entire summer trapping beaver. Okay, that's the thing about RV girls, is that they all have the same thing in common. They're poor? No, these girls are sluts, dude. And they'll do it to you for hours. 
so good at sex now. Really? So what is the best way to do it then? I'm so good at sex now. Like, I'm pretty sure Jay said that. But he, the way he said it, it's... There's no grandiose to it. It's like, yeah, I'm so good at sex now. And I can't believe Ian Morris and Damon Beasley actually executive produce this. They do not have a word with the people who fucking created it. I'm like, the problem is, is this is horse shit. I mean, I understand the fucking money. Don't get us wrong. But Jesus. Deep. It's like real deep to the balls. Do you put the balls in? What? I heard you got to put your balls in if you really want to get a girl off. Yeah, you can. It's preference. Some girls like it, some girls don't. Personally, Again. I like to go and pass the balls. It doesn't even make sense. Yes, it Again. He's like... Yeah, put, um, yeah. Jay had this bravado about him. And you knew it was horse shit. Of course you did. But come on. That is just like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, sometimes I put the balls in. It's like, it's not funny. You're, you're not making anyone laugh. God's sake. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose that on this, I can tell you. Jesus Christ. What? Good manners cost nothing. My dad bring me new pants. Oh, yeah? Did you bring him his back? Those were my sisters. Yeah, your dad's more of a cutoffs guy. What is that supposed to mean? It means there isn't room in his closet for anything besides cutoffs and him. My dad is not gay. Does an awful lot of gardening. Yeah, but he lifts up weights, too. You should see him with his shirt off. Yeah, he's always telling us the same thing. <laughs> that was actually okay. That, that, was, that was mildly... Mildly funny, but again, the UK in between us did it so much better. The the long running gag of was his dad is his dad gay? It was it actually worked. It was funny. the The line delivery wasn't terrible. Do these even like each other at all? Like, is there any chemistry between the four of them? <laughs> <laughs> My dad is not gay. Oh. Wow. I can sit anywhere, right? Tables aren't assigned. You're lucky we let you sit with us dressed for less. A blazer makes all of us look uncool. We're barely above the wall eaters now. Oh no, those guys aren't gonna have sex until they're dead. But we will be banging bitches by the end of the week. It's time we turn the panty tide in our direction. This is Jay. Like, I don't care that he's overweight. That that's not an issue for me. That's not a problem. But he just doesn't care. He doesn't care! About anything. He's not... There's no bravado. There's there's no over-exaggeration. If anything, it's like he just doesn't care. At all. Like, is he baked? Is he just constantly high, this Jay? Because, again, there is zero likability about him. Jay, in the, the UK in between us. And yes, I keep going back to him, because of course I will. I'm so mad. <laughs> He's a horrible... Dirty, vile human being, but there's something about him that you like. He's a little twat. He's the C U N T, okay? But there's something about him that you still like. This guy, it's like he doesn't give a shit. He's being paid to do a job and he's doing the least amount of effort. And the director's like, oh, 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 that was a good first take. We'll not do another one. No, no, budgetary reasons. Like, Dude, you've se you must have seen the first season of them between us. You must have seen the comic timing between the actors, the way it was cut, the way it was, the way it was shot and edited. Okay, so why is this what is acceptable for humor? Now I love American shows. You know I do because I do pretty much all American shows. But this is horse shit. That old enough to drive? I. Drive everywhere. I drove here even. I parked right over there. Uh, the panel band. Mm, yes. It is a little molestery, but I got it at a great deal from a molester. B but he never molested in it. You know, just transported. To a lot of stuff. I can't. <laughs> okay, there you go. There was one, one chuckle. Like that. That was. That was okay. That was fine. That was. That was an original joke. It, the delivery wasn't that great. But it's better than any joke they've tried to replicate from the first season of The In Between Us so far. So, 
why can't this stick in that lane where it could just be called the in between us and make all new original jokes that would suit the tone for America up to my nuts and guts I don't think that's a, a, a like don't, don't get us wrong I don't think that's something that people in the US say it's definitely something that people in, kids in the UK say but just twist it so it fits the the US slang and, and all that jazz that was funny because molest molestery or molest i'm assuming that's that's a fucking universal word <laughs> all right this is totally lame yeah we should get a game of red rover going with them or something no neil we should get some booze how well we could have used my fake id but i totally lost it in this drug rave last night so stupid yeah you think you'd be more careful in your made-up fantasies actually they're not made up dickhead because if you tested my piss right now it'd be like 80 percent coke you know it's the middle of the school day. Liquor stores are expecting adults. I mean, somebody just has to look the part. So the the lie again. <clears throat> I don't understand it. This there should be some when like I knew a kid at school who bullshit. He said like his, his uncle was John Claude Van Damme, and the amount of detail he went into that story. You could have almost believed it if it wasn't for the fact that he ended it with. He's staying at mine, you can come over, but he's at work doing night shift at Morrison's. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, this this was the 90s, so this was this was peak Van Damme, okay? This was when Van, Van Damme was in cinemas every other week. I've just attacked my microphone. This was when Van Damme was in cinemas every other week. But, no, no, he didn't need the money or anything. He just thought... What I'll do is I'll take a side gig at Morrison's, work the deli counter. Do you know what I mean? But the kid, he, he lied so well, it was kind of believable. This, this kid, do you know what it is? I'm not watching anymore. Fuck it. I am done. I can't. I'm out. Thanks for watching. I'll, you won't see this again. That's for sure. You probably won't even see this to start with. Fuck. <laughs>